Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Today I'm checking out some dog leads from paracordaustralia.com. Now Paracord Australia, they make a whole heap of uh, different paracord products, but uh, in this review I'm just going to cover the actual dog leads because uh, that's what really interests me, I guess, out of their selection range. Um, and yeah, I've had the opportunity anyway to use these for quite some weeks now, and uh, I really rate them quite highly. So here's three different types of leads here in front of me. So we've got a ute lead at the bottom here, a uh, scenting lead, and then just a normal walking lead there. So I got the different colors um, and also different thicknesses as well, just so you could see the variety. So what's so good about them? Um, look, first of all, anyone who knows anything about paracord will know that it's very, very uh, strong and durable. Okay, so these actual leads are made from uh, type three paracord. A commercial grade paracord so you can't get any stronger paracord than this so they're really really good for that sort of thing um, excellent for like if you've got horses um, or stock or something like that and you want a strong lead or even like uh, Cooper my dog you know uh, he's a, he's quite a strong uh, dog and when he pulls a lot of the time uh, some of the thinner leads just don't cut it to be quite honest so I was actually looking for something that was quite thick and um, yet still lightweight but very durable and uh, that's why I thought I'd check these leads out. So let me show you a few features of them. Just for uh, the review sake here, I'll use the uh, ute lead because obviously it's shorter so you can see all of it there. Now the clips on them are extremely heavy duty. Um, you just It's a pull down clip and then uh, the tongue comes out like so. Okay, so I mean that's really like feeling it, very, very strong, very durable. And the paracord, well, look, you know, what can I say about paracord? Once you've got it at this thickness here, um, according to paracordaustralia.com, you've got uh, basically, uh, it can carry 3,000 um, foot pounds of uh, pressure here at the uh, clip. So, I mean, you know, like your dog or your, or your horse isn't going to um, be able to even pull that off. There's no way in hell. So really, really good quality. On the uh, smaller, thinner walker lead that we've got here, uh, there's about a uh, thousand foot-pounds of uh, pressure at the clip uh, from memory with this one So look still more than enough to walk any dog um, You know, they're just very very strong for those of you who uh, you know, you like sort of survival prepping that sort of thing um, You know, you'd know all about the uh, uses of paracord uh, For those of you who are watching this and think well, you know, what's the big deal with paracord? Look, it's just because it's so strong and durable. Um, it can be used in so many different survival situations. I mean, everything from uh, you know, making a makeshift clothesline to uh, you know putting up a hoochie or um, just simply replacing laces on boots. There's just so many um, uses for paracord. I mean, if you really want to follow it up, just Google it, and um, you'll be able to see you know so many uses for them. But uh, anyhow, look, let's get back on track with this review. The reason why I really like these. Uh, uh, particular leads is because paracord has that slight bit of give in them as well um, even though you probably wouldn't be able to see it here but it there's just a slight bit of stretch in it yet it's just so strong and durable so that's what's really good about it and for me I mean I wanted something for Cooper because he at times he does pull quite hard and uh, I just wanted a nice strong firm lead just to be able to control him and um, you know this was perfect for that so uh, look, what I'll do is I'll just go into a few other products that Paracord Australia do. Not only do they do these dog leads, let's just move them out of the way for the time being. They also sell naturally rolls of Paracord. So, you know, if you are ideal for camping, uh, that sort of thing. And they've got a whole heap of Paracord accessories. Like this here is like a uh, survival uh, bracelet. You know, if you're really into, uh, as I said, you're really into survival and prepping, then uh, this sort of thing might be for you. Um, you know, you've got a bracelet where you've got you know, quite a bit of paracord that you can access at any time. They also do everything from uh, belts and uh, even stubby holders made out of paracord. Like, honestly, you, you think of anything that can be made out of paracord, I'm sure these guys have uh, pretty much thought of it. So, look, the prices for everything, um, with the, uh, the leads in particular, they're uh, between 40 um, and uh, $55, depending on the type you get. As for the colors with them, now uh, these are just an example of different colors, okay? You're not limited just to these colors, but I mean, you've got the, the orange and yellow, you've got green and yellow, and then you've got uh, 
just a sort of more neutral color, the, just a brown and, and white there. So I'd say my preference for color would probably be the, the brown and white. I just don't like the fluoro colors myself. Um, but still, um, you know, it's just individual preference. So now look, what I want to do guys is I'll just get out now and um, I just want to show you um, just what these leads look like when I'm actually walking the dog and um, just a few more features about it. So let's get out and get to it now. All right guys, we'll start off with the uh, ute lead. Okay, this one can actually be sort of doubled up. Not only is it a ute lead, you can actually use it as a walker. Now, I wouldn't suggest going on real long walks with it, but say for example, you're showing a dog, um, you know, and you've got to have that dog close to you, like, or just general training. You know, this is ideal. It's just at the right height for me anyway, and easy enough to uh, walk with. Coop, come. See, so as you can see, it still gives a little bit of movement, but you can keep the dog nice and close to you. And you've got that added durability of the, uh, the thickness of the lead too, so you can just stop the dog in his tracks, basically, and, uh, and yeah, ideal for training. Sit. Sit. Boy. Okay, the next one we'll go on to, this is probably my favourite for walking. Um, even though it's uh, classed as a scenting lead, I actually really like this one. It's just the perfect length, I find, because it gives your dog a bit of movement if they want to stop and have a sniff at a tree or, you know, whatever dogs like doing. Okay, come. See, so you've got just really good length with it. Come back. Come, boy. <laughs> See, so once again, he started to sort of pull and get ahead there, and it's just strong enough um, with the thickness there just to pull him back and just stop him. Sit. Sit. Now this last one, which is fairly long, um, which is what they class as their walker, I actually find this a little bit, um, probably not preferable for a really strong dog, only because it's so thin. It will actually cut into your hands there, and when I say cut into it, look, it's not going to draw blood or anything, but it just, after, you know, quite some tension on the hand there, it just does cut in quite considerably and it hurts. So, look, up, up, come on, up, up, up. Let's come for a walk. See, so when you're walking, there's probably a little bit too much length here, but this would probably be ideal for people who have like a tracking dog or, or something like that, where you want to give your dog a bit of length and run behind him. But yeah, see there, I just find it just that bit too long for my needs. Come here, come. But anyhow, look, each one of us are different guys, aren't we? So, you know, our needs, our dogs are all different. So uh, they've really covered the whole spectrum here of, you know, endless possibilities. So look, if you're interested in uh, actually having a look at these, I'll put the link to the website underneath this review. But paracordaustralia.com, I mean, they're an Australian company, so I think they're well deserving of our support anyway. And paracord, I mean, look, you can see the bit of give in it there. It's as tough as nails, and uh, there's so many uses for it in camping and survival situations. So it's really a, uh, a two-in-one lead. Anyhow, we'll leave it at that, guys. Thanks very much for watching the review, and we'll catch you next time.